Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at effects chains, how we can create them, how we can use them to speed up our workflow, and what benefits they have in our projects. So let's take a look at how we can do that now. So what exactly is an effects chain? It's basically a group of effects that are applied together to an individual track. And when we deal with these in Reaper, we can create a group of effects and we can chain those together and we can save that out and call them up at any time to apply it to future tracks. It's quick and easy. And if you do repetitive things like you've probably seen in the podcast video that I released recently, that shows you how to benefit from using effects chains. So what we're going to do in this video is see how we can actually create those effects chains, save them and call them back up for future use. So let's take a look at that. If we go to any particular track, I'm just going to expand the effects panel and I'm just going to choose a couple of effects. I'm not really bothered with what they are. I'm just going to choose a couple. So we've got something in our effects chain. So I'll just add a couple of effects in. Like I say, I'm not really bothered by what they are. Okay, so let's just say now we've got this group of effects that we want to, to use on extra tracks. We want to use these again. What we can do now is we can actually save these out as a group of effects. So we have a couple of ways we can do this. We can come up to the effects menu and we can say save effects chain. We could also save this effects chain or save the chain as default for new tracks. So in other words, every time we created a new track, this effects chain would be loaded in automatically as part of it. Now, this is great if you've got things that you want to apply to every track. You want to sort of put uh, some gain reduction or things like that on there. So you can do that from this as well. But for this example, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to go up to save effects chain. And what that'll do is that'll ask us to save this chain. Now, it'll automatically open up to the relevant folder on your installation of Reaper, but you can save these any way you want. So what I would suggest is we'll give this a name and we'll just call this one test chain. And then we'll just hit save. And that's our chain already created. So let's just close that down. So you can see the effects. If we expand this up, there's the three effects on there. So if I now go and create a new track, no effects are applied to it because we didn't set anything up to be the default. But what I can do now is I can come up with this and I can right click over the effects button and I can say add effects chain. And you can see any chain that we've previously created are listed inside there. So in this example, test chain was the one that we created just now. So if I click on that, that will open up the full effects chain with all of the relevant effects exactly the same position as they were when we created them. So that's a quick and easy way of creating a group of effects that you can apply to any individual track at any point. So that really is all there is to creating effect chains in Reaper. Like I say, you can save these out and do what you want with them. You can add extra effects on later. You can adjust any of the parameters on there. And every time you actually load that chain in, it will come back up with exactly the same parameters you set in the first time when you created it initially. So bear that in mind. Okay, so that's all there is to this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope it's going to help you speed up the process of working with Reaper and working with your projects. If you have found it useful, please hit the subscribe button below. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on anything covered in this video or any of the other videos on this channel, please pop those in the comment section below. We read everything you post and we try to comment on anything, any questions you may ask. Don't forget that we release new video tutorials every single Friday for Reaper. And if you want exclusive content that's not available anywhere else, please pop over to the website www.reapertv.co.uk where you can access this exclusive content. And until next time, happy mixing.